good morning. Well, we're fanging it around town this morning, delivering newspapers. Something different to do for the first thing to start the day off. Just cruising along. It's true, people, not all roads in Australia are sealed. Sometimes they're just dirt. I once hit a kangaroo along here. Scared the living daylights out of me, it did. It's a long road, but here we are coming back onto the bitumen. Of course, there is my So I've got a couple of small addictions in the world, and one of them is getting a little white ball and trying to find it for the rest of the day. I often wonder what the point of playing golf is. Who invented that game? Do you just need to be frustrated permanently just to get, a, get through the weekend or not? Now I'm dodging the galahs as well. Not the one behind the wheels, but the ones that actually hop across the road. For some reason, they like sitting in the middle of the road. Great things about my home is, of course, the native wildlife. We have an abundance of magpies. Here they are, just sitting around doing their little thing first thing in the morning. The resident magpies all out checking out the local neighbourhood. Actually all hanging out for a feed because most people around here feed the magpies. Amazing, isn't it? Friendly little things are much better than those seagulls. Every morning I get to see this beautiful vista as I come up over the hill from delivering newspapers. Now don't do this at home, kids. I'm about to throw a newspaper and drive a car at the same time. It's a little bit tricky, but here we go. There we go. That's his paper delivered for the day. Then we fang it up around the corner here to one of the more modern landmarks around the area. I am coming towards the end of the morning and that's one of the things I love about this job. The beautiful thing is I get to finish with that beautiful panoramic view over the cliff tops of the ocean. It's a fantastic little spot and during summer it's dead flat like glass some mornings but I love the rough winter mornings as well. It's just sensational. We've got these huge breakers that just come in smashing up against the coastline. Just banging it up around another corner here. Another quick view of the ocean and doorway rock there in the background. I'm actually watching the road while you're watching the view at the moment, of course. The coastline's quite barren at times here in the countryside, but that's life. You can't have great big McDonald's everywhere, can you? This is one of my favourite spots here along the coast. Beautiful little beach just down there over the hill. You can't miss it. Hang it here. We're going past the old jail, yes. The original prison establishment here at town. No longer used, of course. They knocked the walls down before so history and heritage became important. This is to represent the obelisk, which is one day going to fall in the ocean. And speaking of the obelisk, here it is here on the coastline, right there sticking on the end of the point. We've got people out there this morning having a look at it. It's marked in red and white stripes, the reason being the coastline around here is quite flat. There's no mountains or any other landmarks that you can choose from to see how far you are from where your location is. And the town I live in, Robe, used to be a port, major port 150 years ago, and many ships also sank. So I gave them an idea of instead of creeping along the coastline and hitting rocks, they could actually come along, see where the landmark is. Oh, I'm travelling, of course. Everybody loves to go fishing, and of course, Rove has its own little amateur boat marina. We can't drive down in the car; does not float like a boat. Of course, in the background are the fishing fleet ships. Two types of fishing done here. That is shark fishing. That's a shark boat there. Most of the boats are, of course, lobster boats. Planing holes, the majority of them come from Western Australia here to South Australia because they make the best planing holes, very fast and efficient way of catching fish. Like many country towns these days, Road being on the coast is full of tourist accommodation. This is just one of those little residences for people to come and stay. So we throw them in a paper so they can keep in touch with the rest of the world while they're here having a holiday and getting away from the rest of the world. Aren't humans strange? They go on a holiday to get away from it all and then need the paper to know what's going on while they're away. Poor creatures. <laughs>